And welcome back to the Make One Out of Two Project Lenovo Edition. There we have the two all taken apart. The water-damaged original X201 and my new, much lower-ended, functional X201 right there. And the good news is uh, we can actually get a whole lot of the high-end features that uh, this one had over into that one. Uh, for instance, uh, the all-passive palm rest that uh, this came with, it does have the connector on the motherboard, so we can fit in this one, which has the mouse pad and the fingerprint reader. Should work without problems. Um, of course, I will be able to transfer the RAM. This one came with 8 gigabytes. this one has only 4. Other than that, uh, this one, um, connectivity-wise, this one has Bluetooth. You can see the little light right there. This one does not. It's just uh, a blank. And I'm not sure. The way this looks to me, um, the Bluetooth is probably a, uh, a feature on the motherboard, so I won't be able to uh, get that into here. Uh, however, we do have uh, the wireless LAN card in here, just like in here. However, this one also has this card right there. And I think that is for the UMTS. It does have the antennas. Interestingly, it has one antenna more than this one. We do have this board right here. Um, this one does not have a modem. There is just a blank space up there. This one does have a modem. It's right there. And uh, so might be able to uh, swap this board, because uh, the water uh, came in through my backpack from this direction. So I'd be really surprised if this would have suffered any sort of damage. Uh, of course, I will be bringing the hard disk, or the SSD that I have in this, over into this one. This came with a, uh, a 250 gigabyte uh, mechanical drive. This one has the Core i5 processor, this one has the Core i7. Won't be able to do anything about that, because it is soldered in. And then, of course, the battery, I'll be able to transfer that over. That is not any sort of magic to do that. Well, let me see what I can do. Okay, I think I got the most complicated part done. As you can see, I've swapped these uh, boards. I do have uh, this uh, lower-ended one in here, and I have the one with the modem on it in here. Uh, the nice thing is, it just has, uh, in the modem jack, uh, it just has this uh, this plastic insert. And you just take that out and uh, boom, you can just fit in this board with no problem. I also have the UMTS installed. As I already said, I won't be able to bring the Bluetooth into here, most likely. Uh, also, unless I swap the screens, which I really don't intend to do, because it looks to be a whole lot of work. I'm not even sure if that's possible, if it'll fit. But of course, uh, this one has a webcam up there, this one doesn't. They both have a microphone, so uh, Skype is going to be still possible. Let's see what I'm going to do next. It's starting to look like a laptop again. I got the uh, German layout keyboard back in, and I have the palm rest with uh, touchpad and uh, fingerprint reader in. That all went without problems, so... Let's turn this thing around and uh, continue. I now have the SSD and the RAM installed. Uh, interestingly, the way this unit came, uh, one of the RAM sticks was not properly seated. <laughs> That's kind of interesting. Uh, I decided to put in only 6 gigabytes, so I do have one 4 gigabyte left over. Now we'll be trying this in another laptop. If it does not fit into there, uh, obviously I'll be putting it into here so that this can be 8 gigabytes. So, essentially, I'd say we are done. So, now, I don't really feel like trying this extended life battery yet, because I don't know if it's suffered any uh, water damage. So what I will be doing is uh, I'm going to put this into there and try to power it up. For right now, I guess I'm just going to use the uh, power adapter to uh, test this thing. So, let's go ahead and do that. And here we go. Let's see what happens. Turns on the AC adapter light and does not come on by itself. That's good. This one, for some reason, always uh, turn on by itself if you plugged it in. 
hit the power button see what it does F1 let's see uh, my intention was to get into the BIOS hearing clicky sounds out of there that's interesting uh, start windows normally obviously the last couple of uh, power on processes have failed due to that one being bad okay did not remember that I had the loudspeakers turn off it's now installing drivers now oh, there goes Skype okay didn't install the drivers it's probably because um, it uh, is not connected to the internet uh, well, still it wants to restart the computer well let's restart the computer maybe we can get into the BIOS this time okay there we go let's see what do we have we have uh, Intel Core i5 CPU 2.4 gigahertz it's always going to run on 2.4 gigahertz that's the unfortunate part the Core i7 processor in this one with some uh, turbo boost magic and all that stuff it uh, managed to get almost up to 3 gigahertz uh, that's really quite sad but um, Core i7 just about doubles the price for these things so um, didn't want to uh, get another expensive one because <laughs> obviously uh, after what happened to that one uh, don't really feel like doing that it did detect the six gigabytes of uh, memory that's down there it's now the next day and as you can see I got the new Core i5 X201 with all of its upgrades running a program called heavy load what this does is um, or what I've set it to do is uh, to put a 100% load onto the processor the graphics and the RAM so, so you can see obviously uh, since the processor is also doing the graphics in this um, laptop <laughs> we are getting a pretty constant zero frames per second right there but 100% uh, load on the processor and as you can see that is the truth here is the task manager and as you can see both 100% uh, CPU load RAM is pretty much full and uh, I only have a 4 gigabyte stick in there right now that will be changed again later on anyway as you can see this all has been going on for a whopping 15 hours I let it run overnight and as you can see it is still going <laughs> it is still going so I think it's safe to say this unit is gonna do it